Hello and welcome to this NDTV exclusive with India's Chief Election Commissioner Naseem Zaidi. Yes. Now, we are here with him because of the fact that there's this huge controversy over electronic voting machines. To put this in perspective, electronic voting machines have been unanimously until now hailed as one of the great successes of Indian democracy. They've been in use since 1989-90. They've been used, I was just told, in 107 assembly elections and three Lok Sabha elections, largely without any incident. But now, because of persistent questions that have come up after the results of these recent assembly elections in Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, and so on, the Election Commission has finally decided to announce a challenge, an EVM challenge, for these machines uh, that are here in display uh, at the Election Commission, just where we're doing our interview. But even that challenge itself has come under a question mark. I'm joined by Naseem Zaidi himself. Thank you very much indeed, sir, Thank for your you. first interview since this entire controversy broke. I just want to ask you at the outset that the fact that you agreed to the challenge itself, was that because of the fact that so much pressure was brought to bear on you? Or did these parties actually provide any convincing proof that actually led you to declare this challenge? No, there was no pressure. There was no evidence. As a matter of fact, uh, after uh, five uh, recent election in the state assemblies, mm. there were certain uh, complaints, there were certain suggestions. Right. In turn, we asked for evidence, although we have not received any evidence so far. So just to clarify, so far, not a single party has provided you with any credible evidence that e EVMs were tampered with? Yes, parties as well as, well as uh, ordinary people have written to us, but we have written to them to provide evidence. We have not received any evidence so far. None at all? Yes. So that was one part. And secondly, then we held the all-party meeting. And uh, since there was a question on the functioning of our electronic voting machines, mm. what is the best way to demonstrate once again to people, mm. to our political parties, than to ask them to come and tell us that the machines were really tempered. So this challenge that you've opened, you've given the political parties a certain deadline, I believe that is day after tomorrow. Yes, 26th May. 26th, to come forward and submit their uh, representatives who are going to come and yes. actually participate in the challenge. They have been asked to provide the names of three representatives. Three representatives their choice, will come. Their choice. Has, have, has so, so far, we are now already into Wednesday, has so far a single party come to you? Well, uh, until now I haven't received, but there are still two days to go. But so far not a single party has given you their submission? Yes. Okay. Now, the reason why some of them are claiming that they've not come forward is because they say that you've put such stringent conditions on this challenge that it doesn't make any sense for them to participate in it. No, actually, so that you would say what? No, no, actually the formulation of our uh, framework yes. is according to the live situation which is obtained at our polling stations. Right. You are seeing the uh, electronic voting machine and VVPAT here. Right, this is the EVM here. This is the control unit. This is the control unit. This is the ballot unit okay. and this is the VVPAT. Okay, this is the machine that actually voters press and yes. this is where the paper trail comes out. Yes. And so this, this is, is laid out exactly as it would be yes. in, a polling station. in a polling station. So we have created our framework hmm. according to real life situation. Okay. And therefore we have to play by the rules which are obtaining at the field level. Now I will explain it why. One allegation is that our electronic voting machines are tempered. Yes. So the uh, machines are stored in our strong rooms. Yeah. We have to, and let me also, also explain that yeah. we have asked political parties yes. to select po four polling stations. Right. That means four EVMs from four polling stations. They from could be from from where they can ask for those yes, machines to it come. could be from one uh, assembly constituency, it could be from four assembly constituencies, could be from a state, could be from all four states. So those machines are lying in strong rooms, they are coming to the ECI headquarters, political party, reps can accompany them. So now the machines are coming in sealed condition. Right. Therefore, our uh, rules have to be according to the situation of those sealed machines. Now sealed machines cannot... Okay. Let me further explain, yes. sealed machines have to be tested, have to be tempered by the representatives of political parties in sealed conditions mm -hmm. and therefore we cannot allow it to be opened. Okay, this is something which I was trying to understand that you are telling them that basically when they come, they can just press the buttons, they can try and use a Bluetooth or a, or a wireless yes. device or a Wi-Fi device, yes. but they can't actually open it up. No, there are, 
there are two challenge statements. This is what I was trying to explain. Okay. The first challenge is that the machines are in strong rooms. Right. They are lying there in sealed conditions. This is before the election takes place. No, no, this is after the polling. Oh, this is okay. Sorry. This is after the polling when after the polling they go into strong rooms. So, the first scenario is that the machines after polling yeah. are kept in our strong room. Right. They are in sealed conditions right. containing results of those five elections. Five election. Now, the allegation is that these machines were tempered. Right. So, how it can be tested? The only way to test is to bring this machine here. And for them to try? And for them to try by sequenced uh, press keys. Right. By use of mobile Wi-Fi or any other external device. Right. right. The result which is stored in this machine has to be altered. Okay. Now, if the machine becomes non-functional, hmm. that means some unauthorized methods have been adopted by the challenger right. or if the machine give the same result okay. which was shown to them on paper or on pressing the result sheet here, right. then the… Then it shows that the machine is fine. Yes. yes. Now the second… So, in this condition if you open the machine that means to, sh that means to show that the sealing of the machine is gone. Okay. Now, in the second challenge where they will be allowed to conduct full poll on this machine that would require that the machine comes, Right. FLC which is first level check has to be conducted that means entire memory contained in this uh, is, is. is to be erased right. and fresh poll has to be conducted and then in this challenge they will be allowed to open the machine and carry out a visual inspection. They can open it and carry out a visual inspection, right. but they cannot start no. uh, tinkering with it and put in their own motherboard or any of that. No, no, that is not the situation which obtains in real life. So, this is their argument. Their yeah. argument is that these conditions you are setting are not real life conditions. That in a real life condition, let me finish the question, that hackers or whoever else has a, has a, a mal intent mm -hmm. will not be going by these rules. They will somehow get access to these EVMs and they will do whatever they want. They will rig it with their own circuitry and then it goes into the field. No, see the first uh, first fact is that if they change the internal circuit then it is not our machine. It is not our machine. This is a look alike ECI EVM. Okay. They steal or unauthorizedly. As, as the Aadmi party demonstrated in the assembly well, I would, when I they claim that they I actually not, managed to hack a machine and produce would, a machine. I would not name any political party. Any unauthorized person steal or take away our machine, changes its internal circuit, it is not our machine. We cannot guarantee the result of such a changed machine. Okay, but your contention is that these machines are kept in such secure yes. conditions yes. that it is impossible for somebody to actually break into your strong room, right. steal them and do that. Right. That's, is right. that correct? Right. But some of the other conditions you put for example, you said that each party can send three people yes. and they only have to be Indian citizens. Yes. They cannot be foreigners. Why is that? Why not just throw it open? Anybody in, comes from anywhere in the world. See, we are talking about Indian elections. Yes. We are talking about Indian sovereignty. Okay. We are talking about a electoral process which is owned by the people of this country. This is one fact. The second fact is we have enough number of our IT experts. I'm sir, sure. I'm sure. Sir, it, may, it, it may be an Indian election, but the fact is, if if people want to commit wrong, then they can draw on any uh, talent or any any uh, person from anywhere in the world. And there is also, as you know, a lot of global interest in this. Right. So, again, does not that just add to doubts when you put these sort of conditions? No, it does not add to any doubt because we are confident our Indians have lot of IT expertise. Okay. I am sure uh, our political parties, if they decide to participate in our election, they will bring the best IT experts of the country. And they will get 3 hours or 4 hours and 4 hours. Four per, uh, per, I mean, not per machine, but they will get a 4 hour session four hours. to be able to uh, do whatever they want right. with this. Right. Okay, but they can't take the machine away. No, uh, they can't go and do whatever they want to do it at home or any no, of that. No, no. Then it is not our machine. Then you, as you keep saying, it's it's not no. your machine. This is look alike ECI EVM, okay. and we cannot guarantee the result on such a changed machine. Okay, so if the machine goes out of your possession, then whatever happens to it, you say that's not we are, your we are not responsible for it. But then, what is to guarantee that the machine, somewhere along the process? from the time when it actually comes out of the units where it's manufactured and then it comes to uh, you know the final voting booth and then to your strong room somewhere along the line some uh, wrong elements get a hold of it they make whatever changes they want and yes. then it comes into uh, into play actually, so how 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 can you guarantee that 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 doesn't happen this will require a little bit of uh, longish explanation okay let but in a in a brief the no, brief let, explanation let me first start from the manufacturer level 
They okay. say that at the manufacturing level, the chip is changed. Right. Here the argument is, well established argument that the manufacturer needs to know the key number of the candidates to be fielded in a future election. Right. For example, this machine, for example, manufactured in 2006. Hmm. How would the manufacturer know that uh, you are going to contest in X constituency and your sequence number will be Y? So, so you are saying that that many X factors that come into play? This is one factor at uh, manufacturing level. Okay. Then when the machine travels to the field level, then before the election, few months before, there is a first level check where the entire machine is open, the experts come in the right. presence of political parties, check it and they can detect if there is any change in this uh, hardware or uh, software because there is a certain functional uh, testing. So carrier. that also happens? That also happens. There is another test which happens which I want to ask you about which you also mentioned several times that political parties themselves send their representatives yes. before a particular uh, election. Yes. And then you do a kind of a straw poll right. where they test machines right. and then they, ver uh, they validate them and then they actually come into use and this happens in election after election. Right. But despite that, these political parties are not convinced. You see, uh, there are multiple levels at which political parties and candidate participate. Hmm. They themselves conduct mock poll on by the number of 1000 votes, 5 percent EVM, half an hour before the actual polling. Hmm. And they sign it, they are satisfied with the uh, functioning of the machine. Let me also clarify. One of the one of the Aam Aadmi party members when I asked him, I said, listen, you yourselves are present there. You have seen that these machines work. You, you must have done that in Punjab and in other states. So why this doubt? So they claim that they asked the election commission saying we asked them that when the machine is there, when it comes for this test, are they able to answer that has the motherboard already been tampered or not? Is there any way of already knowing if there is any tampering done to it? You conduct the mock poll and test yourself. Right. This is the best test. You conduct the poll of uh, 1000 buttons and you test the results. We take out the printout from this and give it to them. Compare okay. what you pressed okay. and what you got. There are multiple checks. That can be done in advance. So why do you think that, the, where do you think this doubt has crept in? Well, that answer uh, I cannot give to you. It is for them to. <laughs> you have largely played this with a very straight bat, with a very apolitical bat, except for this one instance when you responded to the Ahmadmi party and you said in your letter that it is for your party to introspect as to why your party could not perform as per your expectations and it's unfair on the part of the party to attribute unsatisfactory poll performance to the alleged tamperability of EVMs. Was that no, somewhat was, unnecessary you think? No, I, I must say at this point in time this response was in the, in the context right. of the letter received here. In res to be exact in response to para 14 of the letter and therefore it was from the election commission side to be totally apolitical. Okay. Uh, now you are reading it that uh, some uh, interpretation has been given to it. it I am just reading out your text. Yes, it was never meant to be political. It was not, it was no, not meant not as a political all, we are, comment. We are a political institution, not, not at all. No pressure from you, Nothing. from the government or from Nothing. anybody at no, all. No, we are an independent institution, we are autonomous institution. The island you are standing on is an, uh, is an independent institution, we have no pressures. And may it always uh, remain so. I do want to ask you though that in the event that nobody responds to this challenge, would you consider perhaps relaxing some of these rules because otherwise it will render the entire purpose completely no, meaningless. Yes. Number one, there are two and a half days still available Yes. and we hope uh, parties will come. Hmm. Uh, Suppose they don't, I am saying hypothetically. We will take a call at that point in time what needs to be done. Okay, but in, in that event you think that you may be willing to uh, extend more flexibility in terms of you know what they are able to actually do with the machine or perhaps even take the machine away? Well, I cannot, or no, you can't I cannot state, comment. You can't. I cannot comment at this point in time. We will take a call after 26th. Right, so just in conclusion, sir, just to, just to clarify from you for the Aam Aadmi who is watching this with great interest, are EVMs tamper, are they tamperable or are they tamper proof? See, on, on behalf of the commission, on my personal behalf, on the basis of technical and administrative safeguards provided in the entire system from the level of manufacturer to the level of storage and counting, I can say with confidence that our machines are non-temperable. 